Welcome to Newell's. Let me know if you need help with anything. Do I sound that awful? I didn't even realize. Terrible, just terrible. You'll have to excuse me. With all the ruckus my husband's been making at the Merchant Alliance meetings, it's difficult to get any rest. Poor old man has himself mixed up in a foolish crusade against Dietrich Sieghart who he's angry at for paying off Neon Security. I don't believe he is, no. I think my husband has Dietrich all wrong. He's probably doing what he has to do, to survive. Just, um, please don't tell James I said that. I don't want him to think his own wife is doubting him. Well, thank you. I can't remember the last time a total stranger walked into our store and offered to help. It would be so lovely to see my James happy again. He used to smile at me all the time, you know. Now all I see is worry on his face. I suppose you can speak with him about it if you like. But perhaps you'd like to browse our store a bit before you do? Dietrich is actually quite a lovely man. Though lately he's been under a lot of pressure, which has made him rather bitter. When we first opened our business here in Nakuchi Market, he was actually very helpful. Offered us advice. Didn't treat us like competition at all. I'm sorry, I just don't believe Dietrich is doing anything wrong paying off Neon security. We all do what we have to do to survive in this wretched city. Unfortunately, my husband is convinced that fighting City Hall is the way to solve all of Neon's problems. I think he's wrong. Have a good day. Oh, yeah. Clover over at Kelcorp? She's too good for Neon. Sounds like she's trying to help someone or something. Honestly, I kind of tuned her out. Welcome to Sickheart's Outfitters. We can, but I still don't see why I should join the Merchants' Alliance when my business is at stake. You think I'm okay with it? I would like nothing more than to run my business free of Dexalus thieving. But what power do we really have if I don't pay Dexler? He'll make sure every gang in the city takes a piece of my stock. Rosa said that? I remember when her and James first started. They were very green. It was a different time. Okay, you've convinced me. I will stop paying Dexler his safety assurance fee. And tell the Newells I will come to the next meeting. Maybe I will even bring some beverages and snacks. You can't stand up to Neon Security on an empty stomach. Something I can do for you, love. Again. Look, you can tell Mr. Okaribo that I'm doing everything I can. Blood from a stone, if you'll pardon the expression. Oh. oh I'm afraid I've stepped right into it again. Damn. You aren't here about Mr. Okaribo's debt to Kelkor. Oh, this is so embarrassing. 
Let me start over. My name's Clover McKenna, but you can call me Chloe. Sorry for me outburst. That's kind of you. This mess with Mr. Okadibo over at the Neon Mining League has really thrown me off my game. If only you knew. Mr. Okadibo owes a substantial debt to Keltcor. I've given him more than enough time to try and come up with the money, but my father's patience is running out. Frankly, I don't know how much longer I can stall. You'd be willing to help out. That's awfully kind of you. Just because I work for Omega Corp doesn't mean I don't have a heart. Saburo, uh, I mean, Mr. Okadigo, he's one of the nicest people you'll ever meet, especially in this city. He really needs help, but he's too proud to accept any money from me. Maybe he'd listen to someone like you? Oh, that'd be splendid. Just... <sighs> amazing. If you can get his debt off my conscience, I'd be grateful. It's been on my mind so much I've been keeping a diary. And don't worry about payment. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. McKenna always keeps that promise. Have a fine day. Can't talk. I've got a deadline coming what up. What do you want to do for the break later? I don't know, but I gotta Don't make my here. job any harder. It's been nonstop. I'm glad I ended up at Gel's Court. Ms. McKenna treats her good as To purchase. I'm confident my fellow business people. Oh, she did. Miss McKenna is very kind, but I cannot accept. It is my responsibility to pay the loan. If I cannot, then what happens, happens. Really? Let me take a look. Oh, I did not know she felt this way. She is always so professional. I thought she did not like me. That is why I have sent proxies to negotiate my debt. And I like her. Oh, that came out wrong. What I meant to say was, I respect her business acumen. <laughs> Look at me. My palms are sweating. Regardless, you have done me a service, and for that, I thank you. You can tell Miss McKenna, I mean Chloe, that I accept her offer. It was good of you to stop by, my friend. If you're looking for supplies, this is the place. Well, I'll be. And all you had to do was... talk to him? Meanwhile, I was so damn stubborn, I made this whole thing harder than it had to be. Given you almost went blind, working with half a kilo of fish cuts in your eye. Yeah, I'd agree. And I'd still be wandering around that storage vat helpless, if not for you. Thanks for your help on this. The Merchants' Alliance is finally united. I don't know if we'll ever get a fair shake in the city, but it's a start. People joke, so those people can sell it.
I know your type. The free wheeling space ace. Lovely day for it. Welcome to Celt Core. That's fantastic! I was worried he'd take it the wrong way, so I'm glad you were able to convince him. I'll arrange for the funds to be transferred immediately. Hopefully Father will forgive the late fees. And if he doesn't, I can always reimburse them when he retires. In any case, thank you. And here, for your efforts. Thanks for choosing chunks. Which? Huh. I thought that was a joke at first, but yeah, here you are. Let me get that for you. Hey, and let me know if I can get you some chunks for the road. They say some Xenobirds sing a song. Coming right now. Careful around here. Not everyone that stays in our sleep crates. Are. I have some sleep crate units available for rent, but someone like you, trust me, you can do better. You have the proper authorization code, and I'll let you into any place you like. I might even throw in a thank you. You look like the type that might appreciate it. I got it, I got it. And authentication is all green. Look for C-153. Before you go, I'm going out on a limb here and assuming your account's more flush than my usual clientele. I've got some evicted crates set up to go to the dump. Might be full of weak old Kazimbas, or it could have the original Miguel Rafael Bailamos. Only one way to find out. Great. Unit C-203 is now keyed to you. Best of luck.
Catherine Luzian keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder. Murder. Yeah. Grand, the only place. Ah, ah, a customer. Feel free to spend your credits. Or get the hell out. Your pick. Oh, yeah, right. You're with Nasher. I see the family resemblance. You're practically twins. I know he got pinched. So if you are some undercover neon security goon here to shake me down, beat it. Yannick's no one's mark. Wait, you said package? So Nesher came through. Huh, might be he's less crappy than I gave him credit. <laughs> Who am I kidding? He's a bottom feeder. But when all the good fish get gobbled up by corporations, sickly minnows are all that's left. Take the creds. I am known far and wide for my generosity. Ask anyone. Yes, yes. He is loyal. Loyalty will be rewarded. You look like talent. Serious talent. And no one knows you. Yes. You are looking at the one and only maker of Yannick's Blend. It's potent, it's good, and as a jackhammer of a kick. <laughs> the kick is the problem. But you may be a solution. I'm thinking a new, cleaner, smarter operation. With you working for me. Ah, and smart. I like you. Blend needs Aurora, yes? And Aurora is totally illegal outside of the Astro Lounge. And really, really illegal off-world. If the Rangers catch you with Aurora on a ship, oh boy, that's a long time in the clink. And if the great Benjamin Bayou finds out you're selling it on the streets, even bigger trouble. But so far... I have outsmarted them all. And together, we can keep making loads of credits and making a fool of the great man Bayou at the same time. Very, very good. Nesher's worthless to me now. Loyal, yes, but he'll be watched from now on. Useless. And my other employee? Ugh. Felix Sadler makes Nesher look like a genius. I think it is time Felix Sadler takes a vacation. Permanent. Off-world. Or maybe he tragically falls into the ocean, I don't care which. But you deal with him. And you become very valuable to Yannick. Eh, it is called delegation. You make the right call, yes? Felix sacks up in some dingy warehouse in Ebside. You will find him there. You good? Private sector. That's where the real money's at. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad part of town, buddy. I'm gonna do you a favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the Disciples get you. Hey, it's your ass not mine on the line. Whole area's gone to hell. Us crate rats used to think the Ebside strikers were awful. With all the muggings and shakedowns, but... Now that they're on the ropes... <sighs> Kinda wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvages. Streets are getting bad. Real bad. Well, you'll find them at Madame Sauvage's. They're always holding auditions, as they call it. Looking for new blood. So, for being so helpful, a chance for a donation. Come on, might be saving my life. What with the disciples and all. Have a heart. <laughs> it's 
story of my life. Yeah, you know how it goes. Not interested. What's the name of that guy? The contact for the job. I've no You were awesome! Did you see yourself? Those Seoka Syndicate freaks had no chance! Yannick came through! That asshole rescued his boy! Tell him I won't forget, we are tight! Wait, what? Off-world? Just pack up and go? No, 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 that, that can't be right! I mean, Yannick screwed without me! We had big plans! Big! Tell you what. Screw Yannick. I hope the Syndicate string him up and execute the bastard. And screw you too. Yeah! Oh, I feel so honored to know you and how you're saving me from my own damn life. You expect me to just... I mean, after what you did to all the... All right! Sheesh. I'm leaving. Tell Yannick I'll miss him. Or maybe not. Side to bed. Deal with Felix yet? I'm sure it was a great pleasure. You get results. Like me. <laughs> well, hopefully not too much like me, right? <laughs> so, now, new business plan. Where I am the boss and you are my capable and well-rewarded underling, eh? Yannick's blend is running low. Soon there will be angry customer, and that's bad for business. What we need is Aurora, and there's only one place to get that. Zeno Fresh Fisheries. Nasher worked there and had a secret contact. Even secret from me, his good friend, who supplied the Aurora. Hmm. Maybe. No longer important. So, it is time for you to become a productive member of society and get a job at Xenofresh. And here are some superb and very legitimate credentials. And your new name is... Riley Chernyshevsky. Ah, nice to meet you, Riley. <laughs> so you apply there to work in production. Oh, uh, you know how to make amp, yes? Simple recipe. 
they expect applicants to know basic chemistry? Use the research station over there and analyze these. I'm sure you'll figure it out from there. So you need to put on your best suit, Riley, and make a good impression. Nishar's contact should be looking for someone like you, so find them. Then we line up more Aurora and profits will flow. Hey there. For some plant? Can't blame you. Best drink in the settled systems. No, not today. Just picking up some beers. Oh. Well, suit yourself, your loss. Zeno Fresh Fisheries, the pride of Neon. You've come to the right place. Zeno Fresh is always on the lookout for new faces to add to our family. The application kiosk is over there, but feel free to ask me any questions. Thank you for visiting Zeno Fresh Fisheries. Uh. 
think I got them. Oh, what do you call them? Corns? Riley. Yeah, I got oh, corns. God. Is that Cherny Sheetsky? Cherry? I'm so sorry. Miss Gorov would like to interview for the position. She's in the underbelly on the factory floor. She'll be expecting you. Have a nice day. I don't sell ends of control. on fire, which you ignored. Mrs. Domain was expecting the event to go off smoothly. He personally expects it. I can't make something out of nothing. Everything is falling apart down here. I need my new budget approved immediately. Hello? Hello? Aye! You're the new applicant, right? Riley? You got yourself a degree. That's not what's important here. You know remedial chemistry and seem to be living and breathing. You're goddamn hired. The pay is better than anything you'll get on the streets. If you can last. Take this and put it on. Time to get to work. just how amazing you are at learning new skills. Right. Wear a pajam clean suit every minute you're on the job. It's for your safety. I can't have any more of you dropping dead because you can't follow the directions. Clear? So, here is the facility. Don't go anywhere. You work the assembly line, you make what's asked, and you get paid and go back to whatever crate hole you come from. Don't ask questions, do only what's asked. Remember, you are just one tiny cog in the Zeno Fresh machine. Don't fraternize, except on a break. Here we go, the assembly line. Job simple. The hopper will spit out ingredients. The computer tells you what to make, you take the ingredients from the hopper. We know to the milligram what's needed. So take what's required. No more, no less. You think so, right? The other thing is speed. We got a quota. As soon as the screen spits out a compound, the timer starts. So use the station to craft the compound, then put it in the other hopper. You beat the time and you maybe make employee of the month, get a bonus, maybe get promoted one day so you can have your own little crate rats. You take too long? Don't take too long. Questions? If your fingers are as fast as you run your mouth, you'll do fine. We understand each other, right? You get one run-through with training wheels, no time limit to learn the system. After that, the clock is ticking. 
Finish your shift, do well, and maybe you come back. You could go to the break room before you leave. Training program commencing, 381 batch. No time limit. I'd rather be cleaning fish than running with a street gang. I hope the rest of your day is productive, too. Welcome to the line. Hope you like your every move being recorded and digitized for Silicon Posterity. <laughs> That's a good one. Speaking of security... Oh no, an outage? Fortunately for us, the damn things are broken like 98% of the time. You happen to know Nesher? Poor guy got picked up by security. Bingo. The fact I'm still free means Nesher didn't rat me out to security. I knew whoever he was working for would send a replacement. Are we back in business? Shit. I wish Nesher had told me that. Huh. I'm in too deep to back out. I'll give you the cords to the merchandise. It's up to you to get it and do whatever you do. If you need more, you know... Work a shift and meet me here in the break room. And I'll give you the new drop cords. Pleasure doing business with you. You're out there a lot, right? In space? Be doing 
I read an article. You didn't hear this from Expecting you. Go in. And now all the interested parties have convened. Yannick, Yannick, Yannick. Did you think you could use Aurora in my city without me knowing? Another bloodbath in Ebside isn't good for the tourists. Still, sometimes blood's gotta flow. And you. You must be what passes for the brain in this operation. What's the percentage in letting either of you leave here alive? <laughs> An investigation. Priceless. Your associate makes a decent case. But, uh... You fucking ripped me off, Yannick. I hate being ripped off. Your lounge has the upscale market covered, Mr. Bayou. But there are so many credits lying on the table, begging to be taken. Go on. We use just a smidgen of Aurora to make blend, and blend is priced for everyone. <laughs> Please, tell him. Yes, tell me. Hmm. So, you've got an emerging market cornered. Yannick, I'd almost think you're a businessman. Almost. Yannick has just started. The credits are rolling in. Wait, did you just call yourself Yannick? For real? I... I... Muzzle it. Here's the deal. You get to keep smuggling Aurora out of the fishery. You make your blend and sell whatever extra Aurora you want on the streets. But I'm taking 20% of the profit for having to deal with your bullshit. We're done. Yannick, get busy making me my money. Just another lousy day in neon, am I right? Oh, Yannick's heart. Eh, still beating so very fast. Ah. Mr. Bayou is formidable, huh? Are, are you okay? I hope we're still simpatico, yes? I mean, yes, he is. But... Our profits go down, yes, but we don't have to worry about being caught anymore. So, Business as usual, yes? You do a shift at Xenofresh and your contact tells you where to pick up Aurora. You go there, make an easy and very safe pickup, and deliver it to me. No time pressure, any time you want. Take a break if you like. You are the best thing that ever happened to Yannick. Well, maybe my first born. Ah, who am I kidding? It's you! Time for work then. Um, it was Riley. Yes, 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 Riley. I'd be making a fortune if they made us for sure. Hey. 
No funny stuff with that boost pack. Never thought I'd be getting paid to work Crap. in a drug lab. One batch. One minute starting now. Can this wait? Craft. I need to One wash batch. the fish smell out of clothes. What I wouldn't give for just one solid week of Assembly sunshine. Complete. <sighs> Shift complete. You didn't hear it from me? But Supervisor Gurov's got her own Aurora deals going on. All those years of college? Totally paying off. Nice to see you again. Oh no, new coordinates. I am so clumsy. I'm up for doing this again. Bye. Hey, keep your nose clean. Last thing I want is to shock you. Save it for someone who gives a damn. Look like you could use a drink. Ah, wonderful! Super A plus, partner. We keep up like this, and we will both be living very large. Uh, Yannick could always use more. Our clients are so eager, huh? <laughs> What's up? I gotta tell you. It's the best. Come on. Let's 
você. Okay, that's you like this once and for all. Velocity or Chimera? Oh, you'll like this. Just head on over to Neon Tactical and check out the robot. It's my best work. I don't know. Chimera's nice, but Velocity? <laughs> that Cyclops should be thanking me. See, I dressed up his toy real nice, gave him a total makeover. He's lucky that's all I did after what that thing did to my crew. Cloud nine. I don't know about you, but that's... Yeah, I do. And I'll make yeah, art out of your guts you're right. if you step out of Where line. Where the hell did Mike got earned to mix a drink like that anyway? And what makes Let's you think it, I will? Let's face just gifted. Yeah, it's hard to predict crazy. Never know what he might do. Except that's why we hit up his store in the first place. We need more firepower. Damn, you're annoying. Yeah, maybe. Fighting that old man is one thing, but that Model A is another story. Ugh, I can't believe I'm actually considering it. All right, all right. The Cyclops is one thing, but I know better than to mess with you. Besides, that Model A shredded my gun arm. I can't aim straight, let alone paint. Here, you give this to that freak and tell him we're even. <laughs> and it's gonna stay that way. That's that old cyclone. Oh, good. You think my folks would be okay with me joining the Sanctum Universum? Yeah, yeah you. you're probably right. You're really they're pretty anti religion. I'm gonna say this twice. Maybe if I move to the yeah. Valley Hotel, what do you want? that won't cut me off. Good work. I hope you made him squirm. <laughs> Good. I bet that punk shit his pants when you threatened him. Thanks. Styx is gonna get a new paint job, a coat of wax, the works. He's gonna look brand new. Oh, and here. For your trouble. You know, Styx, crime in this city gets worse by the day. Vandals, thieves, gangs. I'm sorry. Besides, a bad place for tourists these days. All areas gone to hell. Got a problem? Need something? You lost, kiddo. Yeah, well, make it quick. I ain't a fan of loitering. I had some high hopes for this shop back when my 
Husband and I opened it a while back. These days, if you ain't a regular, you're usually trouble. We'll see about that. Never heard of them. Now, are you gonna buy something or just annoy me all day? How am I supposed to know where he is? That doesn't mean I should tell you. I see what you're saying. Don't worry. I hear you. Ah, you just won't give up, will you? Yeah, I know Headlock can't stand them. And I heard some of the other Sioka can't either. That boy doesn't know how to keep himself out of trouble. What'd he do this time? Hmm. Well. If any place should be terrorized, it may as well be the Emporium. In any case, if you're so desperate to find him, he and his friends are probably hanging out in Warehouse 4 or somewhere near there. I gotta ask, what are you gonna do with him? Huh. How very noble of you. I certainly wouldn't go get myself killed on Tevin's account. Anyways, I got a shop to run. Are you gonna buy something or what? Until next time. Do I have business with you or something? And who do we have here? You here for business or to get your head caved in? Is that so? I'm not just some low-life thug anymore. I'm with the Sioka now. You mess with me, you'll mess with the whole syndicate, and that won't end well for you. Oh yeah? Those are big words coming from a nobody. So go on, Hotshot. Give me a reason why I should leave Tevin and his shitty little store alone. Go on, enlighten me. But don't waste my time. Wow, do you see how I'm shaking with fear? Oh wait, no I'm not. Ah. <sighs> Looking over your shoulder in neon can get old. I don't think things would be that extreme, but I guess I get your point. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that. It kills me to say this, but I see your point. Fine. We won't go around to the Emporium any longer. Whatever. Next time, I might not be so nice. Inside's a bad place for you. I... 
appreciate your help with this matter, but please, don't get yourself killed on my account. Look, man, have a Would heart. I can't be right now, but I'll watch you next time, okay? Oh, my. Now that is a true relief. I thought I would never be rid of him. I'm not one to get involved with the rabble, so I'm glad you came along when you did. Thank you for your help. Please visit us again if you're in the market for luxury items. It's a bad place for tourists these days. Sauvages. Look, I ain't gonna stand around here all day, yes. right? What? what are you looking at? This? This is Ebside Striker's turf. Only the upstairs. Don't bother my customers. Fine, upstairs. That's gang territory, got it? This is such bullshit. Yeah, you used to be people were afraid of the strikers. We had a name, got it? Now the disciples got us penned up in this lousy bar. Andrea. Fine, fine, fine. This beautiful establishment. Do you have anything else, or are we done with this? Whatever this is. See you later.